Welcome to Rust Curious, a series of videos where I explain the Rust programming language carefully. I don't assume you've decided to learn Rust. You might be here because you want to work out whether the hype about Rust stacks up or not. I'll do my very best not to waste your time. In this course, I'll give you the interesting stuff as early as possible, and I hope that what you learn at each point will motivate you to keep learning. If you're not sure whether you're interested in Rust, don't watch this video. You don't need to know who I am and why I'm making this course. Go straight to video number one, Why Rust is Safe. That's the pitch. The link is in the description. If you're still here, I assume that means you've already watched that video and you want to know a bit more about me and what's going on here. So, hello, I'm Ben. I've been in software engineering for about 30 years. I spent nine years at Apple where I used Rust to build a performance critical, security critical network service that's deployed in production at scale. I've taught Rust to hundreds of software engineers in live training, and now I'm here to help you learn. If you're new to programming, Rust Curious might not be for you. It's not really designed for beginners. But if you have some other programming language under your belt, then you're in the right place. You don't need to know C or C++, and you don't need experience with systems level programming. I've taught plenty of people coming from Python, Java, Go, JavaScript, Ruby, Scala, you name it. I do use some very basic C syntax in the first video, Why Rust is Safe, but don't worry, if you've done some programming in pretty much any language, you should be able to follow along just fine. Many people have found that Rust is a great way to get into systems level programming and embedded systems, and I want this course to be accessible whether you've done some of that stuff or not. Just to say a little bit more about my background, I started out in embedded systems and microcontrollers. I've worked on bootloaders, kernel drivers, web browser internals, a casual game, encryption protocols, and safety critical systems. So I've done a few different things. Before Rust came along, most of my work was in C or C++, but also Node.js as well as Objective-C and Swift. I worked on iCloud Keychain Sync, so if you use a Mac or an iPhone, you're running some of my code. When I first learned about Rust, it changed my understanding of what is possible in a systems programming language. I'd always thought that if you're going to write the kind of software I work on, then there's just a certain amount of pain that comes with that. If you're doing low-level things or high-performance things, then you need direct control over memory with pointers, and there's only so much the compiler can do to help. If you screw up, then soon enough you'll be debugging a seg fault or a buffer overflow or a data race or a use after free. Or worse, it'll run fine in testing, and then you'll ship a security vulnerability that gets exploited down the track. I always assumed that any language that made pointers safe would come with overheads and a loss of control that would make it unusable for systems level software. But Rust proved me totally wrong, and I've been advocating for it ever since. I've had the privilege of working with some top names in Rust, in particular Graydon Hoare, Aria Desires, Hewan Wilson, Lily Ballard, Nicholas Nethercote, and Without Boats. These people have all made major contributions to the language and the community, and I'm really grateful for how much I was able to learn directly from them. In the last 10 years, Rust has seen a lot of success and a lot of adoption. The language has proven itself to be stable, and the ecosystem around it has matured and developed. You can now buy a Rust toolchain that's certified for use in safety critical systems. More and more teams are relying on Rust in production, including at all the biggest tech firms. And yet, I still see so many people who haven't taken the time to really understand what all the fuss is about. And I can understand why. I mean, in tech, we are constantly bombarded with new technologies that want our attention. Anyone working in C or C++ for a while has seen a parade of languages aspiring to be the next big thing in systems programming languages. Also, Rust is not easy to explain. It's far too easy to make a pitch that makes Rust sound magical, which then risks being dismissed as unrealistic. The nuance around safe Rust and unsafe Rust, around borrowed references and ownership, it takes some effort to understand enough about the language that you can begin to be convinced that it's practical, that the benefits are real. I think there are probably more than a few teams out there where maybe one or two people are really enthusiastic about Rust, and they're having a hard time convincing the rest of the team to pay enough attention to it. There are good learning materials available, but in my humble opinion, they often tend to be structured in a way that requires some persistence to get into. Particularly when it comes to video content, I think there's an opportunity to provide a very clear pathway into the language that's engaging and motivating from the beginning. 
For someone who's on the fence about Rust, you need to make it clear why they need to understand each piece you're explaining and get to the point pretty quickly. The sequencing of concepts is super important to me. I don't want to get bogged down in the details of every possible syntax form for string literals if where I want to get to is a demonstration of how Rust prevents the misuse of a mutex or a hash map. I want to give you enough of the language at each point that you can see the important concepts in practice, and I hope that motivates you to learn the next piece. You might be surprised sometimes by the order in which I cover topics. I want to hit the interesting stuff as early as possible. I want to get you quickly to the point where you can start making your own experiments in Rust. I also want to give you a really solid understanding of the foundations to serve as the basis for your own learning as you explore the standard library and the other crates in the ecosystem. At the same time, at some point it becomes important to know about the different syntax forms for string literals and all those other useful details in the language. And I want to tell you about those things. Rust is a rich language with a lot of very careful design in so many areas. There's a lot to learn. You will be the best judge of when to dive into those details. And so this course is organized in two tracks. The main track will be a complete introductory course that's available for free. We'll cover quite thoroughly all the major concepts in the language, the type system, ownership and borrowed references, generics and the trait system, collections, iterators, closures, threads, everything you need to get hands-on experience with Rust's guarantees around memory safety and safe concurrency. I'm making this free because I really want you to get the experience that convinces you Rust is practical, it's not magical, the safety guarantees really do work, it really does give you the control you need to write performance, secure, systems level code. And I want you to get all that whether or not you've decided to invest in learning the language thoroughly. In parallel, there will be a second track of extension videos that give some extra depth on each topic or something closely related. Each of those extension videos will be available as a separate purchase. You don't have to commit upfront to an expensive training course. Taken in combination, the two tracks will provide a very solid grounding in the fundamentals of Rust. I'll leave it to you to decide whether you want to begin with just the free main track and maybe come back later for some of the extension videos, or perhaps you're sufficiently motivated to purchase some of those as I release them. My goal with Rust Curious is to make the highest quality video learning materials available. The tagline is Rust Explained Carefully. I take great care to make sure that what I'm telling you is correct and that it's organized in a way that will make sense. Making high quality videos takes a lot of effort. I've spent months setting everything up, researching, writing, recording, editing, testing, rewriting, re-recording, re-editing, and that's just to get the first few videos ready. I hope to speed up the process, but it's a lot of work. What's more, everything here is handcrafted. I write the scripts, I make the animations, the diagrams, the thumbnails, the music. I'm not using any AI, I don't want to feed you slop. If it's bad art, at least it's my bad art. My hope is that by providing really high quality learning material in the free track, I can build a decent sized audience, and then that leads to enough income from the extension track to sustain me continuing to do this. It's a bit of an experiment, we'll see whether the plan survives contact with reality or not, but that's what I'm going for. The thing that will make all the difference is if you tell other people about Rust Curious. So, if you like what you see so far, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already seen video number one, Why Rust is Safe, definitely watch that next. And do check out rustcurious.com, especially the elements of Rust with the map of the type system. I hope I've piqued your curiosity, and I'll see you soon.